Okay, so let's talk about this secret formula we need to solve this equation in algebra or in mathematics. Okay, so we have 3x squared minus 6x plus 2 equals 0. So maybe you, you know, are thinking, I think I know what the formula is, you know, and if you do, and if you could solve this problem, I would suggest, you know, play along, pause the video, and give it a try. But what I'm going to talk to you about is um, a formula that if you're taking anything from algebra and beyond in mathematics, that you want to really commit to your long-term memory. It's an extremely important formula, and it's a very famous formula, and it's a very important formula. And with that being said, we're going to really get into um, what it is and how to apply it, and we'll use this as our example problem. But before we do that, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years I've constructed a ton of online math classes, okay? So whether you need to take a full and complete middle or high school or even a college level mathematics course, uh, I have a huge library of different courses, so you can find a description or you can find a link to those to various descriptions um, in the description of this video. Also, you can use my program to kind of assist you in your math class, okay? So you don't have to take my full course, but let's say you're taking college algebra or algebra two, you can have access to my program, which would give you um, kind of a more instruction than maybe what you're getting in class, and I do a ton of demonstrated problems. Also, I offer math notes. If you want to pick up a set of math notes, uh, you can find those beneath uh, this video or in the description. Okay, so with that being said, let's get to this formula. What is it? What am I talking about? Well, just one second, all right, because it is a little bit of a surprise. First of all, what are we talking about? What type of equation is this? All right, pop quiz. All right, the, this type of equation is a quadratic quadratic equation. Okay, you need to know that, all right? This is a polynomial. Its highest power is 2, so it's a quadratic equation. Now, being when we have uh, quadratic equations, we know we're, you know, dealing with um, that. We're like, okay, this is a quadratic equation. What we want to do is kind of use one of three techniques as a primary way to solve this, okay? The first uh, technique here would be to try to take the square root of both sides. You're not going to be able to do that in this particular problem, okay? So quadratic equations, when you're dealing with them, you have to look at what form, what type of flavor of quadratic equations you have, right? Some are different than others, but they are quadratic equations, meaning that we're always going to have two solutions to them. Okay, so we always see... If we, hey, can we take the square root of both sides? Because this is the easiest kind of uh, steps that we could take to completely solve a quadratic equation. Unfortunately, with this problem, we can't do that. So that's a bummer. Anyway, so then we move on. And our next kind of effort will be, can we factor? Can we factor this? Because this is really easy to deal with. Um, uh, not as easy as taking the square root of both sides, but factoring is an awesome technique. And you always want to factor if you can factor. This guy here, I'm just going to tell you right now, we cannot factor. So, uh, man, well, I can't do this and I can't do this. Well, how do I solve this then? Well, this is where we need our secret formula. All right. And what is our secret formula that you want to put into your long-term memory? You guessed it. It is the quadratic formula. Okay. And here it is in all its glory. And basically it goes like this. So when we have a quadratic equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then the solution to that quadratic equation is this formula here. x is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, so if you haven't seen this formula before, I'm glad to introduce it to you. If you say, yeah, I think he was talking about the quadratic formula, well, I'm here to tell you, Okay, this guy is extremely important. You need to put it into your long-term memory, right? I'm um, obviously you got to take notes, and when you're first learning this, you want to reference your notes. But ultimately, you should be able to recite this formula, okay, by memory. All right, there's a lot of formulas in math that you know there's just too many formulas, especially when you start learning more advanced math. But this one here, again you want to memorize because its applications are so important. Okay, so this A, 
All right, let's go back to our problem. All right, right here. This 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. All right, let me do this here. Uh, 3x squared minus 6x. 3x squared minus 6x plus 2 is equal to 0, right? So that's the right answer. You see, I got some work here. I've kind of done it in advance. Okay, so let's just make sure we understand the formula. Okay, so this a is this variable here, a is referring to the number in front of the x squared. And when we use the quadratic formula, it's got to be written what we call in standard form. In other words, our, our highest power first, x squared, and then our x, and then our number, and it's got to be equal to zero. If it's not in this format, you can't assign a, b, and c values, okay? So that's the biggest thing here. So the three is in the a position, okay? So right here, we'll be plugging in you know, there and there, we'll be plugging in a value of three, okay? B is in uh, what number is in the B position? That's negative six. So right here, we'll be plugging in a negative six and a negative six right there. And then our C value is two and that will go right there, okay? Now, when you're using a quadratic formula and you're plugging in values, make sure you plug them in using parentheses, okay? Uh, I could just tell you uh, the thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of tests and quizzes and homeworks that I've that I've uh, graded. If you don't use uh, parentheses using the uh, quadratic formula, you can get yourself in trouble. Okay, like places that can get you messed up in terms of confusion and getting the wrong answer. Like in here, this is called the discriminant. By the way, a little bonus, and in here. All right. Okay, so. Let's go down and now actually solve this problem using a quadratic formula. Okay, so first thing is you want to make sure that, and by the way, if you want to try to do this on your own, here's a quadratic formula. This is the answer, okay? This is the answer, all right? So we're going to try to get to this answer, and let's go to, to, uh, to the problem. First thing you want to do is make sure that, uh, and this is, again, after you've attempted to factor this, okay? So you try to factor this, can't factor it, but I gotta still solve it. So you gotta make sure it's in standard form. Highest power to lowest power, it's, it's equal to zero. Everything looks good. So I could say now A is equal to three, B is equal to this this sign, this negative right here. If there's a negative in front of any of these, you gotta use that, uh, that sign. So this is gonna be negative six, and C is gonna be equal to two. All right, now what we're going to do is just plug these values in, all right, plug these values in to our quadratic formula. So you should try to do that. You should go ahead and pause the video, plug these in, and once you have these plugged in, okay, then you're going to go ahead and simplify, all right? So let me go ahead and do this again over here so I got some room to work. So A is equal to 3, and B is equal to negative 6, and C is equal to 2. This is the way you would want to show it. So x is going to be equal to minus b. So you're going to put a minus in a parentheses, okay? So negative 6. Now, of uh, course, I'm using the formula now, right? I'm plugging in the values. So that's what I just did. I just did this part, okay? So if you want to write this down, okay, to see what I'm doing, you could kind of follow it. All right, so x is equal to minus b plus or minus, right? That's the next part of the formula. The square root of b squared, so that's going to be parentheses negative 6 squared minus 4 times a, which that's 3, 4ac, right? So I'll go up here. Yep, it's c, and that is 2. All over 2a, right? So that's the denominator. 2 times a, okay, 2 times a is 2 times 3. Now, everything I'm going to tell you from this point forward, okay, is to make sure you don't make any errors. Uh, be a lot. So many students understand the quadratic formula in terms of, oh, yeah, I know the formula, I know how to apply it, but then the mechanics, they're actually the little details, they make mistakes, okay? So the first thing you want to do is double-check that you plugged in everything correctly, okay? So this is minus b, all right? Especially with these little negatives, okay? Notice that this, I didn't 
because there was a negative here. It's minus B, and oh, this is negative. No, I have to do a minus of this actual value. Put that in parentheses. So I'm just checking B squared, uh, minus 4, A, C, da, 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 da. I'm checking that I plugged everything in correctly, okay? I can tell you so many times where students had this correct, and then they made an error, you know, like, oh, they plugged in the wrong number. Double check before you do anything, because then you can, you know, if you didn't plug in the right numbers, and you know what you're doing, you're just going to do a lot of work for nothing, right? So uh, double check that you did that, use parentheses, and at this point, we can now go ahead and start simplifying. So let me go ahead and just start doing that. So x equals minus to minus 6, okay? That is going to be a positive 6 plus or minus the square root of minus 6 squared, right? Negative 6 squared is going to be 36, okay? I'm going to assume that you know some of this stuff here, all right? So this is going to be minus 4ac, so... Uh, that's 12 times 2, that's 24, all right? Or 6 times 4, it's 24. You can get to 24 in several different ways with this product. All over 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so now we, you know, we take our next step. I mean, x is equal to 6 plus or minus. And by the way, look, I'm rewriting the steps. That's what you need to do as well, okay? So this is going to be 36 Minus 24, let me see here, that looks like that's going to be 12 all over 6. All right. Okay, let's keep going here. Let me write this down so we got some more room to work. X equals 6 plus or minus square root of 12 all over 6. And you got to be neat and you got to be double checking your work. Now, at this point, this guy right here, uh, and uh, by the way, too, this, uh, I've, I've done other videos on this. If your inclination is to be like, oh, I can cross cancel like that. That's such a common mistake. Do not, do not do that. Take a look at, um, uh, some of my other videos on cross cancellation. You can recognize them by the thumbnails on my YouTube, uh, channel. So big mistake. You cannot do that. All right. Now we got to deal with this. All right. If you truly want to finish this as a professional math student, you know, get full credit uh, for this problem. The square root of 12, let me do this over here, all right? Square root of 12, we need to write this as, um, this is not fully simplified. This is the same thing as the square root of four times three, okay? Four times three is 12, so the square root of 12 is the same thing as the square root of four times three. So here we can, we can pull these two factors into separate little radicals, okay? You understand what I just did? So this is equivalent to this. Now, the reason I want to do that is the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, so we can write this now as 2 square root of 3. 2 square root of 3. And that's why we have the little plus or minus here, because when we take the square root of a real number, it's going to be both positive and negative. But we want to write it as 2 square root of 3. Okay, so this square root of 12, I'm going to replace it with 2 square root of 3. Let me go ahead and do that now. All right, so x is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 square root of 3 over 6. Okay, now let me go ahead and get that answer. Let me screw it up here. Do, 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 do. All right, I said this was the final answer. This is the form that you want to have your answer in. Okay, in other words, this is a complete full uh, answer. Put it right here. Okay, so how am I going to get from here to here? Well, this is where you need to factor out the greatest common factor, right? So here, this is two. Um, I mean, um, again, these are algebra skills that you should have. So let's focus on the numerator. So I could factor out a two, and it will look like this. Two times three plus, plus or minus, actually, plus or minus the square root of 3, okay, all over 6. Now, if we uh, use the distributive property, I can multiply this 2 back in, and if, when, I do, when I do so, I'm going to get back to this numerator, okay? I'm factoring out because now here, this is a factor, all right? This is different than the sum or difference. So I can cross-cancel. Or now I can cross cancel like factors. Six is the same thing as what? Two times three. So now I can 
cross cancel those like factors and look here I have three plus or minus square root of three over three there you go we did the problem let's give ourselves a smiley face let's throw some a pluses in a hundred percent and some stars for good order okay so yeah we did the problem right but let's make sure that we understand right uh, what's going on there are two solutions here two unique specific solutions so this is the answer but our first solution would be x equals 3 plus the square root of 3 over 3. That's one number. That's when we use the plus version. And then here it's going to be x equals 3 minus the square root of 3 over 3. This, these are two different values, okay? So instead of writing it out like uh, the same numbers, but this is plus, this is minus, we just throw this little plus or minus in to save us the trouble okay but you know you need to understand that this is one solution and this is another solution but we couldn't get here without using our awesome quadratic formula okay and you need to know this guy you need to know this guy this is going to be in your future again if you're you know whatever level of math you are if you're tending to take any more math right uh you know just learn this i guess that's the biggest uh the biggest thing that I'm trying to stress, all right? So is this a secret formula? It's not a secret anymore. It's the quadratic formula, and it is super powerful. All right, so again, if you're struggling with this and you need more instruction, <clears throat> excuse me, or more help, you can definitely uh, check out. I do uh, have a lot of other videos on a quadratic formula in my video playlist uh, uh, in my channel. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing because uh, I'm posting new stuff all the time. And again, if you're really in need of a lot of help and you need structured instruction, then you definitely want to check out my Math Help program. I would recommend like my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 program, depending on what uh, course you're taking. And then again, I have all this um, referenced in my notes okay, as well. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.